Hello everyone, this is Sai Soldier here. Welcome back to our Let's Play Endless Sky, playing as the Merchant. We are currently about to head off back to Alfred here and sell a whole bunch of goods with our pretty good sized fleet that we have. We should successfully pay off this uh, mortgage in no time, I'm thinking. Shouldn't take a whole long time, anyways. Once we've got that done, we're going to go down and we're going to upgrade our flagship here. And hopefully, I can buy enough of this interference plating and actually fit it onto the ship that I can run around carrying gas grenades or whatever the heck I want and not have to worry about being scanned by the freaking Republic. And of course we'll continue with our uh, mission to hopefully join the syndicate here somewhere. Once again, thankfully, if you hold down Alt, I've already said this in another video, but in case you missed it, if you hold down Alt, that jumps up to 500. So that has saved us tremendously, thankfully. And now all we have to do is go back down to Tarius there. Start jumping. And we should be there relatively quickly here. I think I would like to uh, actually upgrade the engines on this uh, flagship I've got too. The Black Death deserves to move faster than the other ships, I think. We've already got great turning speed. That's kind of about the most important thing, I think. Because it helps us to uh, get where we're going faster. Because we can turn and get in position to jump. But as we're chasing down some enemies, being able to move faster is also amazingly good. I could even potentially buy some reverse thrusters and put it on this thing. Alright, sell all that good stuff. We're going to go ahead and buy yet more luxury goods. Alright, so we've got like three million that we can pay right now. Uh, let's pay... Oh, we'll pay two and a half million extra right now. So that's dropped our daily payment down by about 10,000. So that's great. It just means we're making an extra 50, 60, 70,000, something like that every time we make this trip. And you can't complain about that. Watch that go down quite a bit every time we jump. Oh, what, like 250,000 to 178,000. But we've arrived at our destination now and we're about to be a little bit richer. Alright, trading. Let's go and sell off all that good stuff. Now we're back up to 5.7 million. Buy a whole bunch of metal. Go ahead and depart. Set course for Tarius. And off we go. Once we get here and buy more luxury goods, we'll pay extra on that loan again. And we might get it to drop another five to ten thousand something like that which again it's gonna amount to a pretty good amount every time we make the trip all right one more jump all 
I should be able to figure something out that we can do and uh, get enough interference plating on this flagship that nobody's going to really detect whatever the heck I have on here. Which is exactly what we're hoping for. Alright, let's pay an extra two million to the bank. Alright, that would be two million right there. Dropped it down by about eight thousand that we're paying every time we jump. So, pretty quickly here, we'll have successfully paid off that bank loan for this giant ship that I bought. Which is quite nice. And not only did we buy it, but we also uh, upgraded it. So this thing moves pretty nicely. After I sell these luxury goods, I might actually, rather than saving the money to pay off more on the loan, I might look at how much it would cost us to upgrade our engines. Alright, trading. Sell all of that good stuff. Heavy lasers. Two of these big fancy shield generators. How much, uh... I think charge is 157 per second. That's not half bad. Alright. Oh, wait a second. I already upgraded the engines. So, forget about that. Let's see, what's our uh, our max speed is 305. Oh hell, we are actually a lot faster than the uh, than the mules. So indeed, that's good. I actually forgot about the fact that we upgraded that. Okay, so uh, we are already upgraded and good on that. I just managed to forget about that little guy. So yeah, my flagship could actually outrun any one of these mules by a pretty good amount. I could keep up with some pretty decently fast ships too if I like. Alright, we will have this banknote paid off pretty quickly here. One more jump. Okay, landing. Alright, trading. Let's go ahead and sell off all the metal. We'll buy a whole bunch of luxury goods again. And go to the bank. We're going to pay an extra two million. So now our mortgage payment is down to only 34000 per jump. We were actually quite close to having that thing paid off. Once we do, basically we'll just collect a few extra million and uh, I think we'll go ahead and do like I was saying and upgrade the interference plating on the Black Death and maybe go ahead and invest in some toxic nerve grenades and once we have that I can hopefully take over some pirate ships without much in the way of difficulty. And hopefully not lose many of my own men in the process. Okay. Trading. Sell all that. Buy a whole bunch of metal. Oh yeah, now we're looking at over 5 million as we make this jump. It's actually enough for us to buy a, uh, 
Freaking a mule almost. Well, it is enough to buy a mule, but we wouldn't have quite enough to. Uh... Well, actually, you know what? We would. We wouldn't have quite enough to upgrade it and all. We could just about buy a mule every time we make this jump, almost. Alright, departing. If we did buy a few more mules, we would be able to make <laughs> enough to buy a mule. That would be absolutely insane. But I think our fleet is pretty strong as it is. Granted, the more we add, the more money we make, too, which is certainly nice. Hello. What's going on here? Well, whoever is there is dead. Um, yeah, whatever's going on here, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch them. So, with that being the case, let's just go ahead and jump. I'm going to make a million credits anyways, so who cares if I capture a little dinky pirate ship? Trading. Sell all that good stuff. Buy a whole bunch of luxury goods. Go to the bank. We'll pay about two and a half million. Alright, do that two more times and we will be pretty much clear on our bank loan. Setting our course for Alfred. We do want to have enough money that we can... Hello, what's going on up here? That's uh, some crappy pirates. I want like some pirate warships, something big. Something big and nasty that we can take over and make a lot of money when we sell. I wouldn't mind taking over one of these carriers here, or a cruiser, or whatever that is. I think I could take out the Republic pretty easily. The problem is that if you start attacking the Republic, they just keep coming. You have a finite amount of ships, but they don't. They have pretty much an endless supply. Alright, sell all that good stuff. Buy a bunch of metal. And depart. Set our course back there. And prepare to jump again. We made 1.88 million credits from selling the luxury goods. That, my friends, is nothing to sneeze at. That's like capturing a ship every couple seconds. <laughs> After, uh, count in what you would lose paying death benefits and all that good stuff oh yeah Uh, 2.5 million. 2,500,000. Right there. So the next time we do this, we'll completely pay this loan off. Oh, he died instantly. That might be the one problem about having this many ships is well, <laughs> if I am trying to take over some pirates. They might just die a little too quick. 
Now once my mules start spreading out, and then the pirates might survive a bit longer. We might end up disabling a lot of them. Okay, one more jump, I do believe. We'll have this freaking bake loan paid off in a matter of moments. Trading, sell everything, buy a bunch of metal, depart, stay in our course, jump, and we're gonna pay off the uh, bank loan once we get back there. Then I guess we'll probably make this, uh, we'll make this little jump one more time. Just to make sure we got some money in the bank, we can pay our crew without any trouble. And, uh, then we'll go down to Sargon. Let's see about upgrading enough interference plating on our ship. That we can get scanned all we want and not worry about it. Landing. Trading. Sell all. Buy a whole bunch of luxury goods. And then we're gonna go to the bank. We're gonna pay all. So our mortgage is done. Really? You were actually trying to attack like 50 warships? <laughs> start to be doing quite good on cash now. Now these uh the neuro stun grenades or gas grenades, whatever the heck they are, those things they uh they're quite expensive. They're like seventy five thousand a pop. So you buy twenty of those, you've almost paid two million. I don't know that I'm gonna actually buy 20 of those. Alright, trading. So, I'll oh, we'll buy a whole bunch of metal once again. We're sitting here with 5 million credits. I'm gonna go ahead and depart. Laying our course for Tarias. We'll sell this metal, and then we're going to head down to Sargoth. Because we don't have any bank loan to pay on, we're done with that. And now, basically, whatever we make is going to be money in the bank. And I'm seriously hoping that I can fit enough interference plating on this freaking mule not to have to worry about getting scanned by the damn republic I've got a lot of outfit space so somewhere somehow we should probably be able to okay we're gonna go down to Sargoth well I'll tell you what we'll start here first we can sell heavy metals for a really good price there. So let's load up on heavy metals. Oops. Helps if I hit Alt instead of Shift. We're going to go ahead and depart. And jump on down there. There was actually a mission I could have taken to that same place too. At this point, I don't hardly give a crap about missions. Maybe if we pick up a mission in the spaceport so we can kind of progress the storyline. That would be good, but overall, I don't really care too much. Unless we start getting offered missions for like a million credits. 
<laughs> Otherwise, we can make more money than that on our own. All right, landing. All right, we wish the workers the best of luck. Trading, let's sell all that. Let's come up here. What can we sell in Sargus? We can sell, I guess, food. So we're going to load up a whole bunch of food. We'll go ahead and depart. Start jumping. Just a couple jumps here. Once we upgrade our interference plating, assuming that I can, I see that I can get enough to actually successfully do what I'm wanting to do, then uh, we might fly through some Republic space just to test it out and see if they detect our uh, gas grenades. All right, trading. Let's go ahead and sell all that food. So we're sitting here with eight million credits right now. All right. Thinking I might get rid of. Probably gonna get rid of these heavy lasers. I've got uh, heavy laser turrets and all, so we're still doing good there. Um, I'm gonna drop this ram scoop. don't really need two of these big freaking shield generators. And that's taking up a nice uh, 60 outfit space for one of those. Let's go ahead and sell that. So we can fit... How many of these suckers can we fit on here now? Quite as many as I was hoping. Uh, wow. I have to downgrade something here. Um, I guess I can get rid of this fuel cell. That'll give us enough space to buy a few more. So we're up to 30 there. Oh, we got atomic steering. I really don't want to give up another atomic steering. I hate to give up a heavy laser chair too. We might give up one of these anti-missile turrets. And... Well, how many more can we buy now? We're up to 37. I hate having to do this. But I do believe I tried like 40 of these on another ship. And did I? Was it was it 40 that I tried? That would be like 200 space. That would be like half the space on the entire freaking mule. I don't know that I could have actually done that. That would have pretty much left me completely defenseless. Wait a second. 
You know what? Can't we do... Isn't there some sort of upgrade that will give us more outfit space? It's like a mass increase or something. I think you give up cargo space for that. Let me check the map here. We want to look at outfitters. No, no. Look at it that way. Okay. Where is it? Cargo expansion. We got the interference plating. But I'm not. Oh, mass expansion. What exactly does the mass expansion do? What? Is that shit supposed to be up there like that? I can't see what all it does. here in the corner. I can't like drag it down or anything. Well, this uh anyways mass expansion it does indeed give you more outfit space. It takes up some cargo space. I can get that there. I could lose some cargo space that would be fine with me actually. Um, that is a free world system. Let's go ahead and depart. We're going to fly there. We're going to give up some cargo space on our big ship here. Cargo space is something I can indeed give up. Let's go ahead and land. All right, outfitter, mass expansions. So we lose 20 cargo space and I get 15 outfit space. That's given us a pretty decent amount of outfit space, let's Okay, that drops us down to about 350 cargo space. Still not half bad. What the hell? Give me a cargo scanner. I want a cargo scanner. Give me an outfit scanner. Where's this? Energy generation. Uh, it's not as good as what I've got. Don't think we're going to find anything better than what I have. Now I'm kind of regretting uh, selling the extra heavy missile, heavy anti-missile turret. I might could have gotten by without selling that other shield generator. But, what are these cooling ducts? Liquid nitrogen cooling? What do I have for cooling? Do I have anything for cooling? Do I even need cooling? I don't know. Hell, I can buy another... Hmm. Well, they don't have another heavy anti-missile turret here. So, never mind. All right, let's get out of here. We're gonna fly back to Sargus. And we're gonna crank on a whole bunch more interference plating. And then we're gonna buy us some uh, nerve gas grenades. All right, outfitter. What are these modified blaster turrets? 
Plasma cannons. Plasma cannon could be cool. But, this is what we really want. Let's buy several more of these. We've got 82 outfit space right now. Hmm. Well, I can't buy heavy missile turrets or heavy anti missile turrets here either. I'm tempted to buy a freaking plasma cannon there, but these uh, turrets do pretty damn good amount of damage, anyways. So let's buy. A whole bunch more of those. So we got 70 interference plating now. We are going to go ahead and buy a bunch of uh, fragmentation grenades. I don't need that many of them. We'll buy, I don't know, 15 nerve gas. I'm going to leave there. Let's hire some extra crew. How about, oh, 25 extra crew. Let's go trading. Um, where do we want to go? We want to go up to some Republic Worlds and test out this interference plating and see if it's actually working or not. So we can go up here. We can sell luxury goods for 226 profit. Plus, apparently, there's a mission there, too. 86 tons of epoxy resin. Okay. What the hell? What the hell is this? God damn it. Apparently that 86 tons was not there. That was there. I don't want that. Alright, we're just gonna buy luxury goods. Uh, apparently that was all the money that we had. Ooh, I'm not going to have money to pay our crew. Well, we'll pay them once we get there. What's this mission? Passenger transported dancer. Well, hell, that's going to cost me more. <laughs> more to pay the crew than it would than I, what I would make from the mission itself. Alright, you cannot pay all your crew salaries. It sucks. Alright, people. Get it in gear. Get in your... Uh, this little guy here is lagging behind. Let's see if we can get scanned here. Are these guys scanning me? The Navy is here to guard and help you. Yeah. They might be afraid to scan me. They might be like, oh shit, let's not scan this, this big guy. <laughs> he might freaking annihilate us. Actually, I think I just got scanned. What the hell? We still got my... What the Republic finds you a million credits for having illegal outfits installed on your ship. Really? I have how many freaking... No, 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 no. That's not gonna happen. I installed an absolutely ridiculous amount. I have got 70 freaking interference plating on this ship. And they still are freaking scanning me and finding that crap. 
how much stuff, how much freaking interference plating do I need in order for them not to scan me and detect some freaking nerve gas? That is just bull. Uh oh. Screw that. Screw that. That's not going to happen. That freaking thing needs to have, like, scan interference of, like, 2.0 or something. Not .5. That's just, uh, that's just stupid. That kind of pisses me off. So with all that being the case, I've got, like, 282 outfit space free. We're going to buy... More of these freaking shield generators whenever I can find somebody that's selling them. I might buy a plasma cannon. I don't know. We're going to end this video here because I'm kind of upset right now. So, anyways, as always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.